Welcome back to the AI for Good Global Summit here in Geneva, where the ITU headquarters. And I'm now joined by, in fact, the boss of the second largest tech company in Europe. His name is Stephen Kelly. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Chris. But you're not here to talk about that. No. You're here to talk about your foundation, which is doing some pretty incredible stuff with the UN and the Sustainable yeah. Development Goals. Which is fantastic. So the Sage Foundation, we're passionate believers in, in compassionate capitalism. And we've met with UNESCO, the World Bank, the UN, and we've got some amazing projects uh, whereby the foundation basically allows all our colleagues and the company to really participate in their communities and work around uh, particularly women and youth to help them. So the project we're, we're focused on today is around South Africa, but we're really excited. Yeah, because I think one of them is really looking at the issue of domestic violence towards women, right? Yeah, absolutely. Which is something we were talking about specifically in the current contemporary times. Tell me, so tell me how the AI influence there. Yeah, so I guess, you know, obviously big supporters around the movement that's happened over the last year, me too, but we want to bring it to reality. In some countries like South Africa, domestic violence is a real issue. Uh, it's probably only one in 25 um, rapes are reported. Uh, and what we've used is AI to make it a very, like a companionship for victims, women particularly, but also to help education for men as well. So uh, we've got a pilot running in South Africa, working with an incredible social justice uh, charity uh, called Soul City to make sure the victims have got a safe environment. So ultimately they feel safe at home where everybody should. It's a basic human right. They should feel safe at home. And this is the non a non-profit venture you're involved in here? Oh yeah, so everything around Sage Foundation and the concept of the Sage Foundation, pretty simple, is this two plus two plus two. So from the company's point of view, we give 2% of all colleagues, we've got 14,000 colleagues work for Sage, 2% of their time, five, five days paid volunteering for everybody. So that's 70,000 70, days. 2% uh, of free cash flows and two free technology licenses for any not-for-profit. So it's a great way to get involved in the community. Why have you come here specifically to talk about this? So um, I, th I think number one, there was uh, we did a, a keynote, Kriti Sharma, who's really uh, not only the leader of the artificial intelligence, but also this specific initiative around helping uh, women and victim of domestic violence. Uh, there was just, uh, honestly, it was kind of standing room only, and there's a lot of interest, a lot of excitement. I think people are really ready to see how AI can be used for good, which is the, the summit and the conference tagline, but it's also how it's used ethically and responsibility to help disadvantaged people. Yeah, because I guess one thing that comes to mind is that one key to it is trust. And yeah. we're talking about, well, we're talking about rapes and yeah. women, and uh, if they're going to have to confess to using AI technology, they want to make sure this is confidential. Yeah, I think um, what, what we're really focused around AI in terms of the Sage Foundation Charter is how do you take the, the big elephants in the room, the biggest challenges that humanity faces, um, and uh, make sure you address them. But you're right, trust is absolutely critical, particularly around all the data issues, working with the authorities, working with the charity sector, and most of all, protecting the victims and raising the education level so people kind of know what's okay and know that there's a very safe environment through AI where they can get help. Stephen Kelly from Sage, thank you very much for your time. Awesome, great to meet you. Chris. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thanks Cheers. very much.